Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein suggested a 2017 that he secretly recorded President Trump. Now, that's according to the New York Times. Let's bring in our Chief Washington correspondent, Kevin Cirilli, on Capitol Hill. What does this mean, Kevin? Bombshell New York Times report just breaking now, but the Deputy Attorney General is refuting this allegation that just two weeks into his job, he suggested in private meetings that he have a uh, record conversations that he have with President Trump and also invoked that 25th Amendment. Of course, that would require the cabinet members to vote out President Trump to remove him from office. But I do want to read uh, uh, the Deputy Attorney General's statement. He says, quote, the New York Times story is inaccurate and factually inaccurate. I will not further comment on a story based on anonymous sources who are obviously biased against the department and are advancing their own personal agenda. But let me be clear about this. Based on my personal dealings with the president, there is no basis to invoke the 25th Amendment. Now, all of this comes following the latest developments of the Mueller probe. It was just one week ago that the president's previous campaign co-chairman, Paul Manafort, ple uh, arranging a deal uh, with the Mueller team. So, Another development, uh, the Deputy Attorney General is refuting these allegations, but, you know, not necessarily uh, a, a comforting news if you're President Donald Trump. No, certainly not. So, Kevin, put this into perspective for us, because we know the president's made disparaging remarks about his Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, saying he doesn't feel like he has an AG. Rod Rosenstein, for all intents and purposes, is in charge overseeing the Mueller probe into Russian meddling into our elections, correct? Correct. And beyond that, this is someone who has also been a staple around the White House in recent months. He was actually present at the evening that the president announced uh, judge or nominated Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. He has also been frequent, uh, 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 someone who has frequently attended many of the White House personal and society events. So uh, this is someone who uh, clearly now has, has some type of enemies with inside the administration. That said, it also comes following that anonymous New York Times op-ed in which many of the same arguments that were just articulated in that New York Times story that just broke were also, you know, one could argue parallel to what was in the New York Times op-ed. So, Rod Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General, denying this account, but now he's going to face no doubt questions not just from the media, but also from his boss.